Hello friends, how you doing today? Welcome to my channel and welcome to Tag Tuesday. So, as I say every week on Tuesday, on Tag Tuesday, this is an open collab um, hosted by me and I love to make tags so I started this collab and so anyone, it's open, so anyone is allowed to join in anytime. Just let me know and I will link your channel under my video and that's the, the the rules are just link i'll link your video you link my channel or I'll, I'll link your channel you link my channel under your video or in your instagram in your instagram you can just say um you know link me at uh sherry you know at sherry brown is my name on instagram and uh let's see what else subscribe to my channel and uh just post a video any tuesday you wish so it doesn't have to be every Tuesday, and that's the idea behind the open collabs, is that it's no, uh, you know, commitment to where you have to do it every week or every even every month, just whenever you feel like making some tags, right? <laughs> so it's super fun and stress-free. So uh, since this week, I had my map goodies out where I was, if you saw my last two videos, I was um, showing you how I was putting together some travel ephemera bundles and um, also then showing you the final uh, bundle as I got it together for my Etsy shop. So since I had my maps out, uh, I thought I would create some map tags. So I took my maps. Um, I mentioned in my video that I had, well, I have old ones, of course, and I had a new one. I found one new one so far. And it's kind of, can you see, is this a I don't know if it's you can see the glossiness in the camera, but this is it right here. And I put at first I put it to the side and I said, oh, it's too new looking. I'm not going to be able to use it. But I said, let me see what it looks like if I make tags out of it. Out of it. And you can see how the color is nice and bright on here. And here's that. Let me show you that next to an old one. And the old ones have, you know, some of them have brighter colors too. And some of them have, you know, less bright colors. But here's an old one. To see the colors are more muted and then here's a bright shiny new one right so anyway as I cut them out I can see the difference and you know they're both very pretty but let me show you like here's one from the newer um, the newer maps and here's one from the older map both very pretty in their own way but I have to say I do like these bright colors on the newer map so I used my tag dies to cut these out. I layered the maps on some file folder and then cut them out with my dies with my Big Shot. And so I cut out, I just took scraps from my scrap file folder pieces from my scrap box and used what I could. So that's why I have, I don't have any certain number of tags in certain sizes. I just used whatever um, sizes of scraps I had and that would fit onto my dies, right? Or maybe the opposite. I use whatever dies would fit onto my scraps. <laughs> I guess what I'm trying to say. So I've got these two bigger ones here. These are the next size down. I've got three of those, and they're all they all come out different because, you know, they're, you, you're using all different pieces of the maps. And look at this one has a compass on it. Isn't that cool looking? I love that one. And then uh, I've got, let's see, this is the next size down. I just have one of those. See, it was just what was it, whatever would fit on my file folder pieces and my scraps. And then I got these four, you know, on the little pieces that were left, I squeezed in these little tags here. So this tag die, these tag dies are the ones that have the stitch marks around the, um, you know, the side. Can you see it better on maybe the side of the file folder? And it makes a little tiny hole here, but you got to punch it out. So that's where I'm at right now. I thought maybe for today, for this Tag Tuesday, I would show you what I'm going to do with these now. So first of all, i got to punch out all the little holes so I can put some string in. Since these holes are so small, so if you have tag dies like this, of course, you can make them bigger. But I kind of like challenging myself to use the the smaller holes. So I'm just going to punch them out. I've got my jar of baker, Baker's Twine here. And these maps have, you know, really all different colors in them. So I've got green and white. I've got pink and white. I've got blue and white. So I could use any of those colors 
with these tags. These are my little dots. I'm going to push them over there for the moment out of my way. <laughs> They're like bothering me. Okay, so let's see. I got that. This one's already punched. This one's already not already punched, and this one's already punched. Okay, so we got all the little holes out. I was going to show you with as I was punching um, these with my big shot, the little pieces around the tags. Uh, instead of just throwing them in the trash, I made a bunch of little butterflies. So I just kept my little butterfly punches right here next to me. And as I punched out the tags, then I immediately used these little butterfly punches too. And I have my heart punch here too. I already put that one away. But I punched out some little hearts and some butterflies. All of these, let's see, can you see these? Yeah, I think you can. Let me move them over so you can see them good. But I punched out all of these out of the little trimmings that were around the tags so that I could, you know, use whatever could be used and then and then throw the rest away that really was too small to use for anything. I mean, if it's too small for this, this is my smallest punch right here. I have a small heart too, but I didn't get that out. But this is my smallest punch. If it's too small for that, it's trash, right? <laughs> so... Uh, let's see what kind of what color baker's twine I don't want to waste all my time on video these are my tags just in case you hadn't seen them I got these from uh, BB craft I think uh, one time and super happy that they let me demonstrate these because I always wanted these and then I finally realized that BB craft had them and I could get them for one of my BB craft uh, demonstrations so uh, let's do a couple here where you can see, I might have to finish the rest off the video, but we'll do a, these couple big ones to start with and then just see what we can get done. This little tool I got from Dollar Tree, in case you haven't seen it, it comes in real handy for, you know, punching out the little pieces in, in your dies. And the other end acts as a little, you can use it to, you know, when you're gluing something down to smooth it out and spread your glue around. So let's see, I'm seeing a lot of green. So my first thought was to go for the green. So let's, um, but I like the blue and white too. Let me grab a green one. See, here's the green and white. Let me do a blue and white with this one, just to be different. <laughs> Not do them all the same, right? So I'm gonna pull a little piece of this off. So we're just gonna have some fun, see what we come up with with these tags. I've got my, I've got my, let's see, I've got my butterflies. I've got some Tim Holtz right here and right here and over uh, beside me on my little cart I pulled over my Your Creative Studio and I have my scraps there too but I don't think I need my scraps and behind me I have words and definitions and you know things like that this is a new one let's see is there one that's open I don't think so okay let's see where the beginning of this one is sometimes it's hard to find the start oh I think I see it here okay there we go I got it Okay, so we've got two little strings. We're going to get those going, I think. I think I'm going to leave them off for now in case I decide to hang something from those. So I'm leaving it off for right now, but let me go, let's, so let's go ahead and decorate. There's another dot. So um, since these are like map related, like travel related, I thought I'd look through my Tim Holtz for some. It doesn't have to be travel related, but it has to be something that goes with a map right so like this handle with care that would be cute in fact this one needs a little brightening up so that would be cute on this one a little handle with care and then here's some other little bits of good this is a good place to use all these little bits and pieces that come in some of these little tim holtz um pack you know ephemera packs this is just a little uh, label of some kind but that could be cute let's see what else we've got a ticket it says Encyclopedia, Tim Holtz piece. I think I'm going to go. I like this handle with care. Let's just see what else. Some more like tick, a ticket. I don't want to cover up too much because I love I love this. Uh, the map look of them already. So I don't want to put anything big on there. So whatever I put on there is going to be small. <laughs> so but we could do a little layering like something like that would be cute. But I do want it to show up. That is going to blend in too much. If I do that, I could put it over here though. That would be cute. Something like that. I think this is actually too small. I do love these little labels that come in on Tim Holtz. And then you can write on there, right? That's pretty cute. 
Let's see if that looks good with this little piece behind it. Yeah, it really does. I mean, this little piece is really handy. I've used it before, at least once before, and I really like it just for a layering piece. It really adds a lot to whatever you use it for, okay? Oh, here's airmail. Ooh, isn't that cute? Look at that. Would that be perfect or what? Let me see. I might have to change it out here. <laughs> airmail, yes. Or I could, oh, here, you know what? I'm going to leave this out and use it on one of my other pieces. It's a little smaller. I'll put it on a smaller tag. How about that? And even as I see pieces, maybe we'll go ahead and spread these out. And I can just, even if I don't get to glue it down right now, I can go ahead and put it on the tag maybe that I'll use it on. So like these little pieces here would be good on the little smaller tags here. So let's do that. Let's just put one on each one. What does this say? Encyclopedia. This is a little number here. It says 25 and some other things on it. So I'm going to put it right there. Okay, so these big tickets, and they're not big, but you know what I mean. I don't, like I said, I want to cover up too much, so I'm not going to go for anything like that. Just looking for little pieces. Oh, here's another airmail thing. Okay, so I've got two more. Maybe we'll put this one here. Oh, I can still use that little layering piece with it. And put this tag over here. That would look good. It has some red lettering on it. So can you see over here? Yeah, I think you can a little bit. I'll move it over if we end up finishing it. Oh, here's a little, almost like a little bingo card. It's not a bingo card, but it looks almost like a bingo card, but too big for what we're doing today. Here's another label. Let's maybe use that. So let's see. Let's put that on here. Oh, oh, it goes really good with this. This has some browns on it, just like the label there. So these are too big. Here's a little blue um, label that says London. Isn't that cute? Don't you love Tim Holtz pieces? I do. <laughs> uh, let's see. Might have to switch things up again now. Let me see. I really like the red on this one because this one needs some color. So maybe this one could go over here. We'll see if we leave that there. Here's some little postage stamps. I think this is too big though for anything. Okay, looking for small pieces. I have uh, other, oh, here's a little label. Let's see, so we don't have labels on everything, but I need some little teeny tiny labels. This was, actually all I have left is these three tiny ones here. So let's go through pretty quickly here and look, see. Look and see, in case you've never seen this Tim Holtz packet either, this will be, you can look at it this way as I flip through it to see what's in here. If you ever thought about ordering one of these, oh, I can cut these apart. Oh, they're actually too big though for that little, for these little teeny, I need something tiny, teeny tiny like that for these. So let's see, is there any more teeny tiny? We love that right there. So, uh, yeah, I um, once in a while will, actually I do it all the time just in case I can find something. If you go on Amazon and you search Tim Holtz Ephemera, put it in the search bar, and then <clears throat> put the... Uh, the filter on lowest to highest, once in a while, not very often, you will see a Tim Holtz ephemera pack, uh, ephemera pack on, oh, here's a little label, on clearance. So, yeah, oh, here, well, I have two, another one that was on top of that. Okay, oh, that's too big. Oh, I wonder if I put it this way. I don't know if I like that. I don't think I do. I don't think I do, okay. Yeah, once in a while, you will see a Tim Holtz ephemera pack on clearance for like, and I don't mean a dollar off, I mean half price, but it doesn't ha happen very often. You have to just keep searching once in a while. Just go, if you shop on Amazon, go on there. This is cute. I wonder if that would look good on there. Special delivery. It's kind of too big though. I think it's too big. All right, so I kind of went through all those pieces. Look at the little domino. Isn't that cute? <laughs> a little domino. So cute. Okay, so yeah, that's what I do. And that's how I've gotten a lot of my, my Tim Holtz is I'll find it on Amazon. And I mentioned it once before, but well, here's a little piece right here. Let's grab that. Um, yeah, that's what I do, and that's what, how I found a lot of my Tim Holtz 
stuff is I'll find it and I've found more than one type you know it's not always the same ephemera pack through the year just keep searching and once in a while you will find a one or two or even three one time I found three of them and they were all on half price I don't know why <laughs> or how but I just count my lucky stars in order <laughs> because it's free shipping while I have prime uh, so, I, I don't know if it would be free shipping without Prime, but probably, maybe. Or if you meet your minimum, I don't know. I've had Prime for a couple of years. My husband got it, actually. I, I was too cheap to get it, but <laughs> my husband got it. So I was like, started ordering on his Amazon. <laughs> I don't order on mine anymore. I ordered on his because he got Prime. I was like, you know, I didn't want to pay for it, but he, he paid for it. It's like, okay, I guess I'm ordering on your Amazon now because <laughs> you get free shipping. Okay, so uh, let's see. Here's a couple. Now this one's too big, but this this right here. Let's see, this was set, this one says one dollar, so that's cute. Let's see where we like that one. Maybe over here. It kind of stands out. Here's another red one that says. Let's see, what does that say? En encyclopedia again. Oh, that one says enclosure. Oh, they say enclosure, not encyclopedia. Hello kind of see it I guess okay and any more I need one more small piece so this is a, my other I'm about to put the oh here's another enclosure I don't want them to say all enclosure though let me see if I have anything else here's a horseshoe I don't know if I that's kind of too big and I don't know if I really want that on there uh, let's see there's a little label here oh that's a domino another domino yeah, I'm about to put these in here. I just wanted to look through those and then look through these. Let's see, here's a little blank red one. Let's, I've got too many enclosures here, so let's use a blank red one. And anything else tiny. Here's a special delivery, but that's too big for those little tiny. And a handle with care. Yeah, okay. I think that might be about it. Let me just make sure. And okay, yeah, that's it for this envelope. Okay, let's put these in here. Yep, it, it happens once in a while. So it's really cool. I was like, oh, because it's like they're usually like $7.99, $8.99 or something like that for one ephemera pack, and you can get them for like Three something like three fifty, three seventy five, or something like that. When they have them on half price, so that's pretty good for Tim Holtz. And you don't have to order two; you can just one, um, or you know, like it's not buy one get one half price or anything like that. It's just buy one or however many you want. If you want four of them, however many they have available. Okay, so I don't know about putting any little people on here. Just wanted to check it out. I got them out just in case. I found a little something that was really tiny enough to put on a tag these are the paper doll the regular paper dolls uh, let's see I know I have some of the tiny pieces in here but it would re probably replace the label unless well, maybe not I kind of can't see let me pull this out here real quick kind of can't see in there that well uh, those are two of the ballerinas those are too big the ballerinas like this <laughs> I love them but too small for I mean too big for this Okay, I'm kind of taking a long time on this, aren't I? Took a longer than I thought to pick out something, but uh, there's a lot to go through here. So I'm going to go through these pretty quick. Well, here's a little lady. I wonder if she would fit on here. Let me see. I kind of like, oh, I like her. Yeah, I like her. It's, I kind of like to pull these out because they're kind of easy to, uh, you know, pull, usually pick something out. Oh, here's another. Let's see. Oh, he's... Let me put this one over here. Put this one over here. He's a little taller than that one. Okay. Oh, here's a little guy here. I don't want to put Tim Holtz on all of them, but I wouldn't mind putting them putting them on a few of them. So okay. So yeah, that's enough. Tim Holtz. Now I got I have some flowers too here. Tim Holtz, you know the floral stuff, botanical. So. Here's the little doggies. I could have put a little doggy on one. Where did that go? Here we go. That's super cute. 
<laughs> Super cute. Okay, so we did the doggies. We did the little whatever that is. Um, uh, a, what is that one called? I don't know. I can't see it right now. It's covered up. Okay, so I did those two. Now, do we have any flowers we want to use? Let's pick these out real quick. So, um, yeah, I have a few more minutes here to work on these. But now I need some really tiny flowers. This is the, yeah, the botanical. I try to put the title from the package in the envelope so I know which one it is. I mean, it's pretty obvious that this is botanicals, but, you know. I don't know if I tend to use the smaller ones at first, I think. And I wonder how a flower would look on one of these. I'm kind of interested in to see if I would even like a flower on one of these. I kind of really like it more, I don't know how to describe it, masculine instead of feminine on these map tags. Not that you couldn't put a flower on it, but you like it seems like this is more masculine, even with a paper doll on there, lady, a lady. It seems still to be more mas masculine. Let's see. Yeah, I really don't think I really like the flowers on there, do I? Hmm. I didn't, I wasn't sure. I wanted to try it and I, I don't think I really like the flowers on there. That's a small one. Uh, probably not too many more small ones in here. So I think I'm going to pick these up and put them back. And I might, oh, here's a paper doll. That doesn't go in here. <laughs> okay. So let's put these back in their envelope. Yeah, I don't think I really like the flowers on there. I like the labels. I like the paper dolls. So let's put those back. We're done with those. And now, your creative studio. Let me pull you over here and see if I have any goodies. I think I might glue these down, though, so we can at least finish a couple. And I'll pull my creative studio over here. Yeah, I don't know why I have those over there. I should have them right here, right? So you can see better. Okay, there we go. Sorry. I wasn't planning on working on these, and then, then it just kind of developed there as we were going along. Let's glue these down. I'm going to use some... I guess I'll use some art glitter glue here. And so I've got this little piece under, three pieces on this one so far. And I might look at my words and other things, you know, whatever. If I don't have time to do it on video, I'll do it after. But I will go through other things after my video. Maybe even some, I don't know, something to tie up with the little string. Like a little number or something would be neat to hang. You know, just a number um, circle, like a cardstock circle number to hang up here with the string. You know, like another layer. I think that would be fun. Uh, I'm not stitching on these because they have the stitching from the die cut. Otherwise, I would sew around. So if you don't have the dies, you can make these just like I'm doing. But just use glue, you know, and just cut them out in tag shape, of course. It's super simple, right? And, on, you know, layer, if you have some maps, layer it onto some file folder or any type of cardstock. Glue it together, cut it out, glue it together, or glue it together, then cut it out. And uh, you'll have the same tags I have, and you don't have to sew on them. But if you want to further go ahead and sew around the edge, you'll get the stitching, too in whatever color thread you choose to use. So but we're going to concentrate on these two for a minute and see if we can finish these. But you can see where I'm going with the other ones here. So we've got the airmail here. This one says via airmail too. I think that goes really well with the map. And then we've got a couple of paper dolls here that we decided to use. All right, so I'm going to put her right there. She's standing on the little airmail label. <laughs> Super cute. She's getting ready to go on a trip, she looks like, with her fancy little hat on. He's got a hat on, too, and a trench coat. So they're both getting ready to go on trips. Okay, let me see if I have a little something to hang with the... Uh... You know what would be cute? Um... Oh, let me see. Let me see what I have here. Just one second. Well, 
Let's grab, yeah, let's just grab a couple of these because this is what I have available. Let me see what they look like if it's too much, too big. It might be too big. This has a lot of strings on it. I think they put too many strings on this one. It's like, that. oh, this is two. Hello. Okay. Hello. Okay, so is it too big? So yeah, well, I'd like a little circle with the number on it. Then it wouldn't be so big. Let's try it on here. See, it's covering him up. Yeah, it's too big. Let me pause for a second. I'll be right back. Okay, so I had to look around for a minute. And I decided to use some buttons. So I found one that looked good on each of these. And I said I was going to use green on here. So I'm just going to string this little piece of baker's twine through one of the buttons in the hole. And then put it through the hole in the tag. Of course, that's easier said than done. I was thinking about doing it before I turned the video on, but I was like, no, it won't be any problem. <laughs> so, yeah. It's all right. We're doing it. Okay, so. Yeah, this is a good way to, I've done this before, and just to string a button onto a tag, usually it ends up nice this way, I think, is it's the way we used to do it. Yeah, I haven't done this in a while. Uh, tied a button on the top, but um, let's see. So I tied one knot. I'll tie one more knot here, and then that should be secure there. So we've got a double knot and everything secure. And the button kind of brings it all together. You can make get the button to match or whatever. This is a yellow button and it kind of goes with this overall look here. And this one really brings it together with the red here. And this is kind of a reddish button. And I think that looks nice on there. It kind of has the red red. And it has red in the map too. A little line there, road, and a name there. So let's see, we got blue for this one. Blue and white baker's trying on this twine. This hole is really little. I'm going to have to really twist this tight to get it through there, probably. Uh, let me see. I will go through, or do I need to pause? You can use a little wire or some different... Oh, it went through. Yes. My time's almost up. So, yeah, um, this was super fun. When the video is over, I'm going to finish decorating all these. I've got 12 tags here one dozen 12 so i'm going to um my a new thing i'm doing in 2022 is i'm going to start putting my some of my ephemera in my etsy so i've been thinking about that and just haven't really done it i just you know haven't done it you know so i'm going to start making it so that i will be able to put it in my etsy and uh, one of my subbies kind of motivated me one of my subbies and friends motivated me to do that recently i had it in my head but just you know I don't know just wasn't doing it so she wanted some of my my ephemera and said you know you just you need to make any for your shop and I said well yes I will because I want I've been wanting to do that <laughs> so yeah so these this set will be in my shop is one whole set 12 tags and I'm going to start doing that because I I have too much here because I want to do it because I have too much here already to use you know what I mean in my stash so so these two, I'm going to consider maybe done. I don't know. I pulled out some more little snippet pieces from Tim Holtz that I found while I was looking for the, figuring out what I wanted to put up here. And it also, uh, what else? I pulled out some words. So I'm going to look through these, see if I want to change anything out and figure out the rest of these and, and see if I want to put any more words and, you know, look around my craft room see what else I might come up with but uh, when you see this video these should be in my shop so thanks for watching I hope you enjoy my tag Tuesday today I always enjoy it because I love making tags it's my favorite thing so I hope you all have a great day and a great week and stay tuned lots of open fun open collabs coming up in the next weeks and months we have me and my friends have lots of little plans cooking up, so, so exciting. So I'll see you all next time. Have a great day and happy crafting.